Okay, continuing with this uh, water pump control uh, PLC program, uh, we're currently in run mode, and uh, as I mentioned before, there's a bit of a problem in that uh, as soon as this uh, low level float switch um, goes off, so say it's on, the pump turns on, as soon as it's uh, the water level is high enough to turn that low level float switch back off, the pump turns back off again. So that's not really what we want. What we want is some way to um, lock in that low level switch until the high level float switch activates. So what I'm thinking of doing is using uh, this uh, parallel contact here, instead of having it indicated manual override, which is not exactly correct, it's not exactly what it's doing anyway, uh, relabeling that and then using those uh, that, that bit that's stored in that um, file, O output 0-2 and putting in a set of parallel uh, normally open contacts in parallel with the low level switch. Uh, what my thinking is is that when that turns on that energizes this both of these coils. This coil is energized which will close these contacts. So even when the float switch turns back off again it will stay energized in the parallel branch and keep that coil energized until such point that the high level switch activates, which will activate that coil, which will break this uh, normally closed contact. It'll go to normal, go to open, and that will de-energize both switch off the motor and de-energize this coil here, which will um, uh, uh, deactivate this rung. So that's the thinking. Now I'm going to try doing that. Now I can't make any modifications now because it's in run mode. So what we'll do is we'll just go. Uh, go offline and now I should be able to make some modifications to it so let's add a branch first parallel branch uh, I think we can do this one now we'll drag this contact into the center there and we'll add another uh, normally open contact coil in parallel and we'll call it uh, output 0 backslash 2 and now I want to uh, change this labeling here and what it's going to be now is uh, hold uh, lock in coil uh, for uh, pump activation uh, de-energized once tank is full so let's try that so we've got our little description there now Importantly, save the file, and uh, we'll have to go back to program mode. So, <clears throat> just showing on our little, uh, not this one, showing on our little Logitech camera. We'll go to up to program, and go on this window. Go online. I go to download. We want to download this program again. Yes. I'm sure I want to proceed. Go online. Yes. And um, now what we'll do is we will switch the motor controller back to run. Run. Okay, so so I think we just proved it works there. So what we'll do it again. Uh, put up the video. Sort of squeeze it down a bit there. So first thing, pumps off. 
Water's too low. Switch on low level water. Pump's turning on. Uh, for a period of time, uh, the low level switch is um, switched back to off again. But that lock in core holds that circuit on, so it's holding the water pump on. Now, eventually, it gets to the point where the pump, the tank is full. So, full. Now, right away, that de energizes the motor and the lock in core switches off. And, um, and then it's full. So, it stays like that until such point as the water drains out of the tank. So, that would switch off. And it's just uh, in, a, in a holding state until such time as the water is too low. Switches that on again and the process repeats itself. So I think there we've proven now that um, that program is working properly. And I'm actually quite happy with that. So we'll stop it there.